So it's quite rare for me to know what I want to create before I sit down and start creating it. Um, normally I begin without the end in mind, but today I had a very strong idea of what I wanted to create. And uh, we're starting by doing some collage and I've chosen all blues because this is water. This is the deep blue sea. And I pulled out lots of different uh, handmade papers and bits and bobs. Um, and I found these stickers as well, um, which had a, what looked like a net on it, which I thought was interesting. Um, so I'm sticking those down as well. So really the first stage was to cover the whole uh, double page spread with blue collage. If we haven't met before, then my name is Jenna Byrne and I like to use mixed media art journaling as a way to pray and listen to God. If that sounds interesting to you, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so we can keep in touch. So the next stage is going to be to add some paint and I pulled out a selection of blue um, paint colours, uh, different acrylic paints and one kind of grey which happened to be called Storm Cloud which made me chuckle because the theme of this page is the passage where Jesus calms the storm. So I've added some of that blue directly to the page and I'm using a brayer, um, this roller thing, to spread out the paint. Um, and that's actually quite a good choice because if I use a paintbrush, I start to think about it a bit too much. Whereas the brayer is a little bit less controlled and I can spread it out really thinly. So all those lovely patterns and textures from the collage uh, papers are still going to show through. So let's talk about storms. I think um, most of us at any given point in time have something going on in our life, um, a challenge, something we're wrestling with. Uh, that's um, not so unusual, but then you get other seasons where it just feels like the bombs are going off everywhere. <laughs> and it's the last couple of weeks have felt a bit like that. Uh, but before any of that happened, um, we were actually away for a while as a family and um, everything was good and calm and we were having a nice holiday and God gave me this picture in my mind of um, the boat in the storm and Jesus asleep in the boat and he said, um, come and sleep here with me in the boat, even though the storm's raging come and sleep here with me and I've been doing a lot of sleeping recently because um, I haven't been very well health wise um, I think it's probably a kind of long Covid thing so I've been having naps most days so I thought this was linked to um, the need for sleep physically and the need to nap and and rest and continue resting Then we got back um, from holiday and basically everything just went crazy. Um, we, as well as my health challenges, we faced challenges around our business. Um, we uh, faced challenges with Nick's health. So uh, Nick ended up hurting his back um, and he was lay on the floor in the kitchen <laughs> and um, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm out of action, you're out of action. We need you to be well because you need to sort out the business side of things. Um, we even had another random incident of a swarm of bees coming through our garden, uh, which was kind of a bit scary as well. Um, our daughter um, hurt her knee on a bouncy pillow. This is all in the space of like 10 days. And you start to think, what on earth 
else could possibly go wrong and how are we going to cope how how is life even going to work how are we going to function as a family so it's easy uh, to start worrying to start panicking to feel overwhelmed to feel despair um to feel like everything that's going on is so much bigger than you could possibly sort out and that is what has been especially true for me because i have not been well health wise i literally don't have the energy or the um the what's the word <laughs> hilariously I can't even think of the word now but this thing where I can't think of the word I don't have the brain power I don't have the brain function at the moment I've got a lot of brain fog um in order to be able to tackle problems as I usually would so normally when things go wrong I would rely on my own strength and my own intellectual strength and physical strength to get through those situations and I just didn't have that to fall back on so literally all I could do was to pray and I've just felt so this video is a testimony really that I have just felt so held by God through this crazy time and also that in all those situations God has come through for us so um, he he came through miraculously um, financially to help out with that side of things. Um, he came through with healing for Nick's back. I seriously thought he had slipped a disc and that was it. He was going to be out of action indefinitely. And we got the church to pray and within a few days he the pain has gone and he's back on his feet which is such an amazing result so i just feel like god has been fighting my battles for me really i've been um resting up in bed and god has been going ahead of me and sorting out each issue as i lift it up to him in prayer because that's all i can do <laughs> And uh, even the swarm of bees, um, we decided when we looked up some Bible verses, there's verses about swarms of bees being exactly that, being something that God sends ahead um, to fight off the enemy. And so we claimed that as a blessing and, uh, and trusted that God was going ahead of us in all of these things. And some really, at the same time as some crazy stuff happening, some really good stuff has been happening as well. Some good conversations um, with people about God and, and yeah, just opportunities to tell this story, to tell this testimony. So I'm going in now, um, I'm using a water-soluble crayon just to trace out the shape of a wave on top of this moody blue background it's good to use something water soluble to do that so that you can add a bit of water and rub it wash it away if you don't like it and now i'm going in um, more permanently with a posca paint pen i treated myself to a little set of posca paint pens that you saw there um, i really love them and i use them a lot so for me it was definitely a good investment and the idea is that I do a huge uh, tsunami style wave shape, which I'm outlining here in blue. And I'm filling it in with like multiple lines, stripes. Um, so the whole wave is filled in with this kind of line work about a centimeter apart and it's important to leave a gap between these lines because then what I do next is I take a smaller um, fine line Posca pen in white and I use the lines of the waves 
as a journaling space. So this is space for me to write down all those um, things that have been going on, all the things that we've been facing as a kind of prayer um, to lift all those different situations up to God. So you will have to turn your page around as you do this so that you can follow the lines with your writing. And I was really happy to do quite a lot of journaling on this page, as you can see. But the overall effect, I think, is quite effective on the page. And it's done the job of getting all those thoughts and um, worries and feelings out onto the page and eventually I started writing about fear um, because that it, this is what I find when I do journaling is that if I write for a period of time eventually the real issues start bubbling to the surface I start naming um, the things that are really going on and the root of all this uh, worry and stress is fear. And if we go back to the original Bible story, this is exactly what this story is about. I'm just going to read from Matthew chapter 8. And then he, which is Jesus, got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. So the disciples here got it wrong, it seems. I mean, their reaction, it seems completely understandable to us. You know, they were in a storm, they were afraid for their lives. These were experienced fishermen as well. Um, and they were scared and they would probably rushing around up and down the boat trying to do whatever they could to keep the sail up and to keep the boat bailing out the water from the boat and uh, and just lots of activity um, and shouting and panicking and then they wake up Jesus and uh, say we're going to drown and all of that Jesus seems to think was unnecessary because he was asleep. He was asleep in the boat. Um, and so we contrast the disciples' uh, response to the storm with Jesus' response to the storm. And who do we want to copy and emulate? Uh, not the disciples, although everything within me um, tends to go that way when I'm faced with things going wrong. We want to emulate Jesus who is sleeping in the boat and that is what God said to me um, before all this kicked off. Just come and sleep in the boat with me. Rest in peace. Like know my peace even in the storm. Have the peace that passes all understanding that allows you to sleep, not to rely on your own frenetic activity and action. And not that we should, you know, not that it's wrong to take action if, if we can um, calmly do things that are going to help ourselves. Um, that's not wrong. But ultimately, our souls need to be in rest with Jesus. And so I'm. I've cut out a little boat shape. I'm actually doing this on some old packing, Amazon packing paper that I've put some white paint on. It's just doing it on something that's a bit textured and interesting. You could totally use plain paper for this. I cut out the shape of a boat and I am 
attempting to draw Jesus and me as a little child inside the boat sleeping. I'm not great at drawing, um, but that doesn't matter. It's not about the skill, it's about uh, remembering, um, it's like building an altar really, uh, as to what God has said and what God has done in this moment for me and my family. And so I want um, a little memory, a little drawing here to remind me that at any point, no matter how big the waves, um, I can trust Jesus. So I'm sticking my little boat on now with a bit of gel medium, rather a lot of gel medium in fact, it looks like. And then I start thinking about adding some words to the page as well. And I happen to have saved this advert on the back of a magazine for a music festival and it has all this wonderful typography. If you ever see anything like this with lots of different fonts um, and different lettering styles, um, then do save it because you can use those letters um, really effectively in your journal to add some words um, when that's appropriate. So the words I've decided to add are asleep with Jesus. Um, I thought afterwards that that might mean something different, <laughs> like I'd passed away or something. But for me, this is about this concept of um, not needing to worry, not responding in my own strength, but having absolute peace. A bit like we read in Psalm 131, I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me, but I have stilled and quietened my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. So I hope this page has inspired you and you have some ideas for how you could pray if you're facing difficult circumstances. If you did, you've enjoyed this video, um, do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, uh, leave a comment. I love to read your comments. And whatever storms you are facing, I pray that you would know that God is good, he is trustworthy, he is able in every situation and the, the peace of God that passes all understanding would guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I pray that for you, dear friends. Amen. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.